All right, ladies and gentlemen, the weirdest news just dropped, literally. I was walking around on Twitter when I saw one new, one news from Mixer. And I was actually, in, initially I wasn't understanding what was going on, but now I completely understand it. And holy shit, I don't even care if I said bad words. Mixer is shutting down and the reason why they're doing this is because they say they can't compete versus YouTube and Twitch. Remember that Mixer is the one who made a deal. I'm not familiar with values, uh, with with Ninja and even Shroud, if you, as you guys know uh, about that, that happened a while, a while back. Um, now they're basically going to be free to go wherever the hell they want. But why would they shut it down? What's going to happen to every single streamer, right? Well, apparently they sold everything to Facebook gaming and as you can imagine the reactions of people are not okay most of the people on Twitter if you go there and check out the posts I'll leave the links in the description as you can imagine everybody is really really mad you know Facebook gaming is not really the proper uh, thing to compete either with Twitch or YouTube if anything if anything I, th I think the mixer had much more an advantage for a streaming platform than Facebook gaming ever ever and not just that every single little thing that they have done through this entire time changing rules in order to prevent stuff like racism sexes nudity and etc all of that that they just took days months years just to make sure that it was all okay now it just went down to the to the garbage bin you know and Facebook gaming maybe does have stuff like that but they definitely don't have the necessary stuff to let people who are on Mixer to go all the way there and just keep the numbers they had it. Um, for example, I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on what happened with me. If you guys remember, I was actually streaming on Mixer and I applied for my partnership. Now, I was already a Mixer streamer sort of this, uh, stuff uh, for like one year or more. And when I decided to apply for the partnership, I actually had uh, some good numbers. I had 80 viewers. I mean, that's pretty good for a, for a streamer of my size. So I thought, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm going to apply for the partnership. I have to have an entire month of streams, uh, many viewers, etc. Yada, yada, yada. So I did it and they refused me. I didn't initially gave up. Instead, I tried to do it in a different way because their excuse was that I didn't have enough views on that category, which I assumed there would be Paladins. Um, since we had the Paladins game channel who is constantly up and running every single day and it has more than 2,000 people, I mean, who can come to that, right? I do believe that NTBs managed to get it, which that's even what makes it. Um, people like NTBs just wasting hours of their days hours days weeks months doing the best they can trying to interact the max possible creating communities people out there have been there for years they've been there before beam that was the former name of mixer people out there is just trying to build their own communities and all of a sudden they're going to be shut down and just pushed aside to facebook gaming i'm guessing a lot of people is going to twitch i'm not gonna lie the reactions of a Facebook gaming it's obvious that people don't like it it's it just makes sense and it's not really a streaming community it's not a streaming website that was just like an extra feature they put it to Facebook next thing we know Facebook is buying twitch as well Jesus Christ but still um, there was basically an, an interview to why this happened and the uh, the man in command which is basically uh, Phil Spencer uh, the chief of division of the games of Microsoft, he said it himself that the difficulty was to compete against Twitch and YouTube. So yeah, okay. But still, uh, even YouTube, it's even Facebook itself. Apparently, I don't know how much people there are on Facebook gaming. I'm not, I'm not saying that it's shit or anything like that. Don't get it wrong. I'm just not seeing the numbers compared to YouTube or Twitch. Twitch is for streaming. YouTube is for videos. We know it. All right, just get on with it it's okay there's other streaming websites like d live and etc even pewdiepie went to d live look what happened when the when the you know when the contract went out well pewdiepie is back at youtube now streaming there like <laughs> i mean we gotta be honest these guys are giants youtube and twitch are fucking giants what are you gonna do against them? you can't you just can't it's insane 
and well, uh, Shroud and Ninja, they had deals and so on, now they're free to go wherever the hell they want, they probably will go back to Twitch, I'm, I'm guessing, I'd be surprised. And now, I just want to mention one thing about the mixer points, the viewer points that so many people like because of the Paladins and Smite and etc. Um, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, there's no news yet about that. If the mixer slash viewer points stick around, I will do another video basically explaining to everyone how to still get them, okay? So it'll be pretty easy. Um, if they're not, then, well, rest in peace, mix it points, viewer points. Uh, my guess it is that maybe one day they could potentially put it up on Twitch. I don't know if Twitch has something like that, but I mean, if Mixer did it, I think that Twitch could potentially do it. In fact, I wouldn't. I, it would be a great addition for Twitch, where... Uh, certain people could just be getting the drops, the, the 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 points for the games, you know, that'd be really, really good. A lot of people would go into the platform. Yeah, a lot of, you know, AFK uh, people and etc. But still, it would be great things. Um, but yeah, so that sucks. That really sucks. Many people creating their communities and all of a sudden just doing this. And I'm I'm glad I gave up on, on that. I didn't went for the second time. I just gave up one month before I had the possibility to apply again. And I gave up and I just went to pursue my YouTube and my Twitch. As you guys know, I do my YouTube videos and then I also do some streams on the side. Not really much of a streamer here, I'm just more of a YouTuber. But yes, I do stream every once in a while. I like to play with the community and talk with everybody else, and so it's great. But, well, yeah. Um, rest in peace, Mixer. Microsoft came in to grab Beam, thinking that it was going to be a great thing, and now they just... Shut it down. And with this, I also want to bring another thing to attention. This morning I saw a story about somebody who apparently worked at back at Microsoft, which, as you guys know, it's Black Black Month, not, not Black Month, sorry, Black Lives Matter. And this employee who apparently was a, a black man working at Microsoft, he had a very bad experience back there. Apparently he was kind of, like people told him sort of that he was just there because he had the street intelligence, you know, and that that was like the first flag. Like I, I would be like, what the hell, man? What the hell's wrong with you? And then just not that they started doing some racist comments about slaves and etc. And it just went worse and worse. And then he just left. And he only came out with the story right now. Um, but Mixer, instead of just fixing it or saying that they were going to investigate it, they were like, yeah, yeah, you know, you, you we we care about, much about people. They didn't even apologize. It's a very bad, bad situation. Uh, I don't know if I can find it. I'll put it, uh, put it in the description so you guys can see it. The, the, the person in question, he had a, a post with the entire situation there described so you guys could see what the hell was going on. And um, yeah. By the way, just in case you don't know, apparently there's some sort of a transition still phase that if you got the partnership back on Mixer, you're going to be able to get it back on, you know, on Facebook. I'm not sure about the embers. I really don't know um, and everything else. So... Yeah, you guys are gonna have to, whoever is a Mixer streamer, you get definitely gonna have to go into their websites, into their tweets and everything else and just try to figure out what the next steps are, all right? That's pretty much it. I mean, there's not much more to talk about. Uh, rest in peace, Mixer. I hope everyone who built communities back in Mixer can transition properly to either Twitch or anybody or any place that they would feel comfortable at. Um, I hope people who are actually dependent on the streaming on the platform who find a way to still maintain themselves because this is going to be complete chaos now and i hope maybe maybe just maybe facebook can invest some money on facebook gaming to actually make it a proper thing bigger than even mixer ever was and so this isn't the complete total waste or a total destruction of so many people's lives, honestly. Um, but yeah, beyond that, that is pretty much it that I just wanted to bring the attention to all of these three different things that I just mentioned here. And beyond that, I hope you guys are staying safe with all the COVID and riots and everything going on. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time. If you want to join my streams, whether I am on Twitch, on YouTube, wherever I am, you're more than free to join me on my Discord, on my Twitter. I put the notifications there. You, you can find me anytime. So that's pretty much it. Good luck to everyone. I'm out. Bye-bye.
Apocalypse.